Yep. Sandy goes rook d5, going after the c5 pawn. Okay. Yeah, you can't take on d5 because pawn takes, and it's a. Uh... Actually, you, you technically can do that. Wait, this hangs a pawn, no? Just take on d6, yeah. take on h3? Yeah, it's a pawn. Um, Could be two games in a row. Uh oh. Here we go. Uh oh. Now Sorin. 95, cool. Oh, knight g4 hey. is a pretty yep. big threat. Watch out, knight g4 would, would be a problem. Ah, oh, nice. Knight f3 back. Uh, knight g4, queen f7. No, queen f7 doesn't work. But I'm trying to go queen f7, knight g5. But oh, it, it, it wouldn't work after knight g4. So that's why I oh. played it. What? Why didn't it work there? Because the king oh, goes king to e7. Seven. Oh, okay. So bring your rook to d1 or something and then go for it. Yeah. Okay. And if rook f8, rook takes f7. Nice. Rook f7. Nice. Rook f7. See if he finds it. Come it's on. Trade. White wins two pawns in the end game. We got a fork emote on g5, everybody. Get is. your emotes out. There it what is. Sick move. You found it, man. That was oh. nice. Wait. Look at that move. <laughs> rook, g7. rook g7. Rook g7 gets you get away with it because king takes queen c7. Ah, uh, queen to c7. Oh, my God. That was sick right oh. there. A nice resourceful little swindle for Maxime. Well, I had to sit. I was like, you know, head in my, like, what, what's going on? It looks dangerous yep. all of a sudden. But yeah, I think the hell has got this cover. Queen F7 check. Yep, force it. Force the to take on A7 and just win all the pawns. Uh, yeah, you're right. But okay, the problem when you keep the queens on the board, there's still this outside chance that the, you know, queen and knight are going to do something dirty over here. It's yeah. outside. Yeah, very outside. This looks. And he resigned. What do you think about that? 